Today I'm going to be doing another art school quick vid and this is going to be about two Ulfa products and I really want to give a big shout out to Ulfa, love you Ulfa, um, for supplying these for me. Um, I know, okay, so this week I am doing final projects and next week will be finals for me. So I will be home next Friday morning at my house and home in... I'm going to tell you, Pennsylvania. I live in Pennsylvania. So I'll be home in Pennsylvania in about eight days. So until then, I will, I'm going to do this quick vid. And this is going to be it until I get home next weekend. Um, I'm going to be taking some stuff home with me so I can do some videos at home. So I'll have about a week or so to be doing stuff. So that'll be nice. Um, I'll get some stuff up. But Ulfa... If you guys don't know, Alpha, Alpha, Alpha. see that logo right there. Um, they mostly have like rotary cutters and like stuff for like quilting or I mean just like craft knives, like stuff like that. I mean stuff that you wouldn't normally think would I guess be for art supplies, but I turn to them for like everything. Um, they sent me a lot more stuff than I'm going to show you, so. For Ulfa, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be doing a two-part reveal of everything I, that I received, and then I think I'm going to have to be doing a two-part demo of the things that I received and, like, how to use them and stuff. So, I would like to do that at home, but I don't really want to lug that stuff home, so uh, we'll see. I'll think about it. But I know that I'm going to have to be doing at least four videos, because... I mean, with the 10 minute time limit, it kind of limits me on how long I can do this. So until then, I'm going to be do doing this art school quick bit about these two things that are basically the same. So I received um, two Alpha non-slip rulers with the frosted advantage. This is the, the tag that comes on the on the rulers. So um, if this these two rulers feature the frost advantage. Um, Frost acrylic. Uh, oh, it has black numbers and lines on it, so you can see it really clearly. Um, so you can see it on dark and light colored backgrounds or fabrics or whatever you're using this for. Um, yeah, easy to grid lines. That's what I love about these. Um, one inch grids with half an inch, quarter, and eighth, one eighth inch increments for so you can have precise measurements no matter how little or how much you're wanting to do. And then, okay, so I have, I got, I received the 6x24 inch ruler, and I also received the little 4x4. Four four. So I'm going to show you the 6x24. It's big. I don't know if this is going to fit the screen, but it is. So you guys can cut on diagonals and, and line up, um, like, radial designs, like diagonal lines, cutting diagonals, that kind of thing. And um, I'm going to show you, I guess, up close. Each little one inch square has those increments that I was telling you about and then it breaks it down in half an inch is like that stitched little square line. So I've really been using this for like measuring my papers and um, just making lines on my papers without having to, well I'll demo this for you, but going around and then like re-measuring it's really annoying but this has made it so much easier for me because it fits the entire paper because it's 24 inches long which is just as long as my normal um, metal ruler that I have but you can't see through that and it's not as wide as this so it's and it's not as stable so like I wiggle it and moves around all the time it's not fun so I really oh my god I've been taking this everywhere and my friends are like what is that and why are you using that and I was like oh it's like for quilting and stuff like that and but it's made my art projects that much easier with this ruler and it's I love how it's frosted and how it's not like clear so you can see it so you can focus on the measurements but you can still see through it kind of thing see what I'm saying so I got that big one and then I also got the little four by four I love this one too like I would never I never I mean I have I think I have no I don't have any of these at home just kidding but my mom has a different Ulfa ruler where it has like a 
lip on it on the end kind of thing. So it like hooks on when you're rotary cutting like, I don't know, fabric. But these have been so handy for like art things. Um, yeah, I'd be using normal ruler if it wasn't, but um, look how cute it is. It's so little. It's like the size of my hand. So I've been using this for like little things in my sketchbook, drawing quick straight lines like zoom, 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 I'm done. And I don't have to break out this long 12 inch ruler and I don't have to break out the big 24 inch ruler that I only have here. So I just bust out this little, this little clear guy and it's quick straight lines and I've been able to do detail work with this and that kind of stuff. So let me guys, let me show you guys what I've been working on with this and I'll show you guys how I use it. So keep on watching. So I'm going to show you how I've been using this. Um, this is actually one of my um, final projects I'm working on. It's not much yet and I've been erasing it so much so um, just bear with me but this is actually a perspective project where the entire thing I pretty much am doing in rulers and lines and so it's been really complicated to make sure you have precise measurements and it's almost like an architecture project I guess you could say. Um, let me turn it this way. This is the way it goes kind of. I don't know if you guys can see those lines, so we're just going to go with that. But I've been using, like I said, the big 6x24 inch, and literally I, okay, I have a point of, uh, I have my vanishing point, which is the point where all your lines vanish to, and I've been able to keep the one end, oh, you guys aren't seeing this, uh, keep the one end on the point. And then I'm able to um, match it up the lines and then there's the little grid so I can just keep moving along kind of thing you know what I'm saying but when I had to put a border you guys can see the border on my mat um, when I put a border on it you know how you usually go around and you mar mark all four sides or one two three, you mark all eight like points on each like you mark one point here Oh, sorry, this is being really bad. So you mark one point here, and then you'll mark one point on the other end, so you make sure when you put the ruler together, make the line straight. With this ruler, I have not had to do that at all. I just line up the one point, and make sure the bottom edge on the ruler is flush with this edge. And then I line up the other end, and it matches perfectly, and then I just draw a straight line. It saved me so much time with this ruler. like. It's so simple, but it's been a lifesaver and quick. I'm loving that. So you guys should check these out. They're not that expensive, and they'll last you forever. Hard, durable plastic, which I really enjoy. Um, and they're wide enough, so they're really usable. Here's a close-up. Yeah, this is a better shot. So that's like the radial pattern in it. So see, like the little... I don't... Hmm. I have like windows and doors in here. This is a building I'm doing, obviously. So I used my little 4x4 and quick quick little lines, quick little lines, quick little lines everywhere. And it's saved so much time than using, trying to measure with that huge, large ruler. I'm sorry this is longer than five minutes like I said it would normally be. But anyways, it's going to be my video for a while. So I will see you guys next week. I will be in finals and doing like all that kind of stuff like I told you guys. So I will still be um, constantly looking at my YouTube comments, that kind of stuff, or seeing what you guys are saying. I will be paying attention to that on my older videos, that kind of thing, and my email. So if you guys ever want to email me, and because I'm not going to be here for probably about a week and a half-ish. So I'm sorry, but school is more important than YouTube right now. Um, so yeah, email me. Uh, leave me a comment and I will get back to those. Don't worry, I'm not going to totally drop off the face of the earth. But I do not have time to make the YouTube videos right now from editing and all that kind of stuff and uploading and that stuff. So if you want to keep emailing me, contacting me, whatever, that's fine. I'll be paying attention to that. But until then, I will see you guys after finals. I'll let you guys know how they go. And I'm still thinking, I'm still considering about Twitter, so I don't know if I want to tweet. So, um... Let me know what you guys think. I will talk to you guys later. Have a great week. I will see you soon. Don't worry.